So Rudy Giuliani fumbled his way through anti-Iranian propaganda on Sean Hannity's show uh, this week. It, he's like half asleep here. His eyes are like half closed. And um, <clears throat> this is like the Iraq war script all over again. So let's take a look and then we'll discuss. Live breaking news, special edition Hannity, Iranian aggression across the globe. Today, the president blamed the escalating tensions in Iran in part on the outrageous deal that Biden Obama made with the rogue state, probably the dumbest foreign policy decision in the history of mankind. Take a look. We're going to be speaking with the UK, and this only goes to show what I'm saying about Iran. Trouble, nothing but trouble. And remember this, the agreement, the ridiculous agreement made by President Obama expires in a very short period of time. It was a short-term agreement. That was a ridiculous agreement. And it goes to show you I was right about Iran. And let's see what happens. Also today, the president confirmed Senator Rand Paul will be assisting in negotiations with Iran. I don't know if I agree with Rand Paul on this one. It was reaction to this dangerous unfolding situation. President Trump's attorney, former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani, um, I want to say this delicately because I have sources that I know are sources you know well. And I know you have been told what I have been told. We know exactly which nuclear sites are the most dangerous. And we know the plans have been long drawn up to take them out. And I have been told, and I think you've been told, Mr. Mayor, and feel free to go as far as you want to go with this, that it is beyond doable. And it will happen if this continues. Well, I, I uh, have the benefit of having been in Albania for four days at a conference in which we had 50 nations represented, significant uh, numbers of our military, including several general officers, a four-star general, two three-star, two four-star generals. And uh, I think the colonel was um, saying, could we effectively take them out 100 percent? And maybe we would need nuclear weapons for that. But the point is, um, we could set them back five or ten years. I'd be happy with that. If we could make it impossible for them to develop nuclear weapons in the next five to ten years, I'm convinced there'll be regime change there. I mean, it could happen this year or next year. Now, remember, Iran regime has been in power for 40 years. They have committed hundreds of thousands of crimes against humanity, slaughtering people in the street. I have seen pictures of 120,000 of those people. I have a book at home that has 20,000 of them all listed and, uh, and, 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 and completely author author authoritative. I also can tell you that in 1988, they killed 30,000 people in two months. And since Rouhani has been in office, they've killed almost twice as many people as Ahmadinejad did. So this man is another murderer, a mass murderer. These people me, commit crimes against this. humanity, and Europe gives them money. And That's we insane. gave them over a billion dollars. That billion dollars went to kill people. And Obama and Biden should be ashamed of themselves for doing that. Oh, pipe down, Uncle Fester. Listen, <clears throat> you want to talk about rogue regimes killing people that we support? Saudi Arabia. We give them multi-billion dollar weapons deals. They turn around and, and give those weapons to jihadist rebels on the ground in Syria and Yemen. So where, in a roundabout way, we're supporting jihadists, you know, the people who attacked us on 9-11, Mr. 9-11 mayor. Also, Saudi Arabia is doing a genocide in Yemen, killing women, killing children, blockading the country, not allowing in food, not allowing in medicine. There's famine, there's a cholera outbreak, people are dying left and right, they're bombing hospitals and open-air markets. It is a flat-out genocide that we are flat-out supporting. He has nothing to say about that, in fact, he supports that, but he fear-mongers about Iran and about them killing people. Are you kidding me? You want to tally up the body count Iran versus Saudi Arabia? You don't want to play that game, do you? And also, by the way, he's lying. Obama and Kerry gave them a billion dollars! No, Rudy. They gave them back their own money that we had stolen from them. And in return for them getting back their own money, we got to 
go in there and the IAEA, International Atomic Energy Agency, got to regulate the shit out of the nuclear facilities. You understand that? That it, it's a guarantee they weren't going to create a nuclear weapon, and they weren't creating a nuclear weapon, and the IAEA came back over a dozen times and said they're following the agreement to the letter, so I don't know, there's no problem here. So, in other words, we did the exact thing that Rudy Giuliani is saying, like, well, we need to make sure they don't get a weapon. That's exactly what the fucking point of the deal was, dipshit. And I, they never give you the context. They never say, oh, we gave them back their own money that we stole from them. They always say, yeah, Obama gave them a billion dollars for no reason ever. It's U.S. taxpayer money, even though it's not. But it's always, it's, it's so infuriating to see a guy like Rudy Giuliani act like he cares. Iran is killing people! <clears throat> we massacred people in Iraq. We massacred people in Afghanistan. We're still doing it right now. We're still killing innocent civilians. Trump's first... Military action as president approved a raid that killed a, like, a young six-year-old girl. But, oh, I know, your heart bleeds for all the victims of the Iranian government. You just want to do regime change, man, and that's what it boils down to. Rudy Giuliani talking about crimes against humanity is rich, because, of course, this is the same guy who backed the Bush administration. The Bush administration did countless crimes against humanity, including torture and illegal offensive wars against countries that didn't attack us. I like how he said, maybe we need nuclear weapons to take out their nuclear facilities. Go back and watch it again, because I had to watch it two or three times before I, it hit me that he really said that. He said, maybe we need to use nuclear weapons. He's talking about nuking Iran and nuking Iran's nuclear facilities. Casually, just casually floating this idea on Fox News. Just casually, like, yeah, what do you mean? It's nuking another country that didn't attack us. I don't... Why is that a problem? Is there a problem here? Um, and I got chills when Hannity said, oh, there's a plan, and the plan is, quote, doable, and it will happens if happen if this continues. So he's saying that we have plans to strike Iran, and that will happen if, uh, you know... Iran keeps doing what they're doing. Now, what they don't tell you, of course, is that the Iranian, everything Iran has done is tit for tat. They're acting defensively. But of course, in U.S. media, it's always going to be framed as if Iran is irrationally on the offense. When every, notice, everything that happens, it's not like it's, it's not like Iran is attacking us in the Gulf of Mexico. No, we're over there. We're over there. And then when they respond, we're like, oh, how could you? How could you? What are you talking about? You're, there, you're in their airspace, or just outside their airspace, or fucking with them and trying to force their oil exports to zero, which is an attempt to collapse the economy, which is economic warfare. By the way, we are sanctioning even medicine going into Iran. Medicine. And Rudy Giuliani supports that. Well, that, that kills people, man. We're doing economic warfare on them, and then when they respond, we play the victim. It's really disingenuous. Um... And I got a nice little chuckle when, uh, when Sean Hannity said the Iran deal was the worst foreign policy decision, the dumbest foreign policy decision of all time. Are you joking? A deal that it has been proven was working for its intended goal that created peace and stability. That's the worst foreign policy decision of all time. This is a guy who supported the Iraq war! <laughs> Sean Hannity supported the Iraq war. That's the worst foreign policy decision of all time. What in the... Again, I'll say it again. I just said it before, but I'll say it again. I don't know how anybody watches this crap. I don't know how anybody takes these guys seriously. They're a joke. They're a joke. So, uh, Grandpa Giuliani, please go back to sleep.